security from better devices as we find them in IoT devices or in electrical control units of vehicles is becoming more and more relevant, especially in the domain of automotive security and upcoming autonomous vehicles, vulnerabilities and ECUs may have severe impacts to drivers or other road users. Here at Schutzwerk, when we run penetration tests to identify those vulnerabilities and attack vectors, we typically perform also a lot of manual tasks with the inner hardware of the devices, the so-called printed circuit boards or PCBs. A PCB basically looks like this one here, which is a small board of a Raspberry Pi. In most cases, the manual process includes four steps. First one is the visual analysis of the board, where we identify the different chips on the board, such as processors or flash storage. Here shown for a common router providing internet access and Wi-Fi. Then we try to get further information about these components, for instance, via respective data sheets. However, data sheets are often not available due to intellectual property reasons of customers. This means we have to find out this information on a different way in such cases. So what we do after the initial visual analysis is a manual probing of contact points in offline mode to reverse the electric network of the board and to identify ground pins in the first step. This is a very time-consuming process, especially when there are many components and contact points on the board. When this part is finished, we power the device on and do a manual probing in online mode. Here we need to manually place probes on the board for all contact points we want to analyze. This process is often error-prone as contact pads can be very small and place probes can slip out of position or might have insufficient electrical contact. For all these contact points, we try to identify their connection to power supply lines or signal lines on the board. Identified signal lines in turn need to be mapped to potential bus protocols like UART, SPI, I2C and so on. Again, if no data sheets are available, this is a very time-consuming process, which includes a lot of trial and error. Finally, at the last step, when we have identified signal lines and mapped them to bus protocols, we can try to find potential attack vectors, such as extracting key material or accessing debug interfaces to gain unauthorized control of a device. The latter case is demonstrated here with our router device by connecting to an unprotected UART interface. This interface provides us with an interactive root shell, basically meaning we have full control of a device. What is always a good thing from an attacker's perspective, but would be of course bad news for a user or customer. So as we could see, this whole manual process has several time-consuming and error-prone steps involved. This was our main motivation to build the ProButter, which is a self-made probing machine with four probes that can be individually placed on a PCB. Our contributions with the ProBotter are basically implemented as four components. The first one is the mechanical construction, with the four moving probes and an integrated camera system. Where possible, we use 3D printed components in order to support the replacement and reproduction, as we are also planning to share our construction plans with the community. The complete construction is assembled by hand, which typically comes with decrease of probing accuracy. To solve this issue, we created a self-calibrating mechanism, which measures individual correctness values of the promoter and increases probing accuracy again. With our self-calibrating approach, we achieve probing accuracy of 0.1 mm. The second contribution is a computer vision component that automatically detects and identifies modules and contact points on the PCB. We evaluated our algorithm with three new image datasets including PCBs and ICs. The mean average position of our detection approach from components and contact points on the PCB ranges between 80 and 90%, which is quite good for our use cases. Based on the images with the detected contact points, the third contribution of the ProBoter is a software component that automatically probes a selection or even all contact points and records the current voltage values at these points. Thus, in contrast to manually placing probes on the board, we can scan the entire board in one run. When this step is completed, 
As the final contribution of the Probota, a Fursal software component automatically identifies signal lines and maps them to the given bus protocols. So after this final step, we are able to use the results to identify potential attack vectors such as extraction of key material or gaining access via debugging interfaces. With our Probota, we can now automate most of these tasks that we have demonstrated before with our router board. We just have to place the board of the router into the fixation drawer of the Probota, create a new project and start the scanning process. This will first create an image of the board and detect existing components and contact points. After that, in offline mode, we can start the probing process for select contact points in order to reverse the electric network of the board and identify ground connections. We can then further annotate detected components and select contact points which should be scheduled for signal line scanning. The Probota measures existing signals and calculates the probability of the mapping to given bus protocols. For example, UART in this case. Based on the results, we can select contact points as the most likely candidates for the signal lines of a given protocol. In our case, the RX and TX channels of the router's UART interface. After selecting the channel candidates, the Probota will probe the respective contact points and start the terminal showing the output of the UART interface. In case of the router's UART interface, we can get an interactive shell where we can access the underlying operating system with high privileges, meaning we have full control of the router. With the Probota, we provide a novel self-calibrating architecture for automated PCB analysis as a part of a penetration test. Our evaluation showed that four independently moving probes allow a precise measurement of available signals and an effective identification of existing bus protocols, which we evaluated for OneWire, UART, SPI and I2C. This generates potentially interesting entry points for an attacker. Compared to an error-prone alternative of manual probing, the Probota can increase the efficiency of analyzing hardware components and at the same time maximize the coverage of analyzed components. This further increases the likelihood of discovering vulnerabilities in penetration tests.